What is going on guys? Good morning. We got Yak all loaded up. We are heading up to IMI this morning. I say we because we got Daddy Dio. So very glad to have Dad back. It's chilly this morning. You can see there's snow here. We got snow yesterday. But um, it's supposed to be high of around 50, maybe a little bit higher in IMI today, or in Dakona, which is where IMI is. So, should be a gorgeous day. And for how much fun I had riding last week in colder temps, I was like, we gotta make the most of it and uh, break away a little bit from Aztec and Ram. So, heading up north, uh, we got about an hour and a half drive, so we're gonna get on the road and uh, make a great day out of it. Thanks for joining. And here we are. We had a nice smooth drive up to IMI. Pretty much just set the cruise control at 75 and ripped it up here. So that went well. Um, I actually didn't remember if IMI opened at nine or 10. It must be 10, because it's about 9.45 right now and they just finished watering. We got Jasper over there. <laughs> so always fun when we get to the track and have some buddies and um, it'll continue to fill up, of course. But we're gonna start getting unloaded. Dad's already started getting unloaded. He's not waiting around for me and uh, get changed out. Should be, should be good. It's a little chilly right now. It's like 33, but I'm not going to talk about the weather. It's going to warm up. It's going to be a gorgeous day and we're going to ride some dirt bikes. So let's uh, get the show on the road here. All right, today we're rocking the sofa with the jersey print and butt patch from Somnium Racing. Anyway, sofa, you guys know I have a ton of gear. This is the best gear. This is my favorite set of gear. So I wear it so often. Anyway, I have a code, I think it's DO15, but they currently have a 60% off sale code SOFA60. I've been getting ads on Instagram. They didn't ask me to say this. I'm just letting you guys know because 60% off from this gear. It is expensive gear, but 60% off is a lot. It's worth every single penny. Go get you some. I'll have a link, check it out and uh, take advantage of that code. But we're almost done, we're getting ready. Gotta just throw on the chest protector and this and then uh, you can hear bikes are out on the track. So we're ready to go rip it. Got the earplugs in, we're all geared up in that sofa. Uh, track's looking sick, let's go get it. Here we are at IMI. Daniel's coming around the end of the first lap. Checking it all out. Here's our buddy Troy showing off. I saw your little jam up up here. Yeah, yeah, I stalled it real quick. Yeah. I was going into that corner trying to keep my feet up and I went for the far inside and I got on the rear brake too hard and it just stalled on me and then kind of popped and I like put my foot out and uh, nothing happened, but yeah. yeah. Good. 
I feel like the front, I think it's soft. Uh -huh. So I need to stiffen. It doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of fight when you're pushing it right yeah. now. now I, need to get my, I need to get my suspension done anyway with new, new stuff. But yeah, I need to tighten it up. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna head up in. Yeah. You do you want to ride? I know I'm good. You know, it's not very far. It's a straight shot right yeah. there. All right, we just finished up with that little moto. First off, oh. how's the weather feel out there, it Dad? It's really nice. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, um, riding the jersey, it's just a little bit of a, a hit of the wind. It's not horrible, but it's just a little bit chilly. But it's still warming up. Um, yeah, I did like 12, 11, 12 minutes. Just my warm up. Uh, you guys are tired of me talking about it, but harping on keeping the feet up, which I feel like I did really good. Just that tight left over here after the switchbacks. I put my foot out uh, every lap because uh, I just can't keep my feet up to that corner, but I'm working really hard to keep it up high and turned in. So hopefully we're uh, reducing any potential harm. But yeah, track is pretty good. They watered it. It's not prepped super well. It's not getting deep. Um, there's some like s skippy parts, like some acceleration bumps before the triple and before this one. Not enough to like deter me or anything, but it's there. Uh, the suspension feels really soft on the bike. I, I stiffened it up some. I'm gonna go ahead and stiffen it up more. Just some of these landings, I feel like I'm blowing through the stroke. Um, I am due for oil and bushings and all that changed out, so I need to take it to applied soon anyway. But just for today, we're gonna stiffen it up, maybe mess with the rebound some. But you guys know I don't really get too uh, involved with that. So we're just gonna dial in the clicker some and enjoy the day out here. It's not too busy. There's like enough people that keeps it fun, but you're also not like having to wait for loads of traffic to go by. So good stuff out here at IMI. One time Alex made fun of me for laying on the ground to do this, but I don't know how else I could do it. My knees don't allow me to crouch and, and do it. It's just easier to lay down and do it. <laughs> Yeah, dude. This is Tanner. I'm a big fan of the uh, Dio videos, and uh, up, well before I even moved to Colorado, I was yeah. watching your stuff and figuring out the local well, track. Thank you so stuff. much. Where'd you move from? California originally, nice, but How we're the good kind of California. <laughs> good man. Good man. Back to Melbourne, I but I wanted to come say hi. Definitely, Tanner. Yeah. Are you the one parking up there? I just had a really weird, weird moment. I went over the tabletop in the back and I like whiskey throttled and my glove got stuck and I almost like looped out. Wow. It was it was weird. Over like the finish line ish. Manner. The tabletop's by the go-kart track coming oh, back this, okay, way. Coming this way. I just like, I don't know, I guess I just whiskey throttled. Put the glove caught on something? I, I don't want to blame the glove. I think it was on me, but it felt like it was stuck. Wow. I mean, it's not like there's anything wrong with the glove. I was just like that and I jumped and luckily I was able to let off enough to brake tap and then I landed on the throttle. Wow. That was scary. Yeah, that was scary. 
Yeah, you had to be really laying it out there. You're no, I actually had slowed down on those last two laps. I thought I, thought I noticed that. Yeah, I saw I was at 12 minutes and I was like, oh, back it down some and then I did that. So, wow. I don't know. I just don't know what to say. I've watched that clip back probably 50 times, frame by frame, trying to figure out what happened. Um, and honestly, like it's really embarrassing watching it back. It was scary in the moment. It was goony and it was just embarrassing. Like that's not something that usually happens to me. I mean like squid squads and stuff, but that was something else. So watching it back, there is some chop before that jump. And I just decided to kind of slow down and take my time. And um, maybe I just got a little lackadaisical and I hit it. And maybe when I hit the chop, it pulled my throttle back. You can watch it. I have it in super slow-mo, um, as slow as uh, I can get it. And it looks kind of crummy, but I kind of chop going up the face of it. And right before I take off, I grab a handful. It goes up. You can see that I grabbed the clutch, hit the brake, dropped it some, and then gas again. And right when I land, my hand is almost off the bars. Like I'm barely holding on. And then I gas again when I land. And so maybe it was just forearm tired the glove didn't actually get stuck um, nothing with the glove i guess it was just being tired a little bit of whiskey throttle and those acceleration bumps the chop up the face was just enough to jar my hand like as i went up that it like pulled back and just took off on me so that was very scary very glad i didn't crash but i i can't i have nothing to say about it i'm embarrassed by that but hopefully it was good for the video Came in from that little moto, we did another like 12 minutes and then we had a scary end. I don't know exactly what happened, but I kind of hit the tabletop and whiskey throttled. I don't really think my glove got caught, but it, it felt like it and I jumped it and I aired it out. Nose high, luckily I was able to let off just enough to grab the clutch, tap the brake to even it back out. Then I landed back on the gas. I don't know, it was really scary. It was really goony, like that's not something that I usually do. So I don't know, just getting a little pumped up, but um, glad we rode out of the safe. Glad I didn't put anyone else in harm or the water truck was there or anything. It could have been really bad, but um, glad that it wasn't. And then we went around and goofed around to some on this, trying to get some video in the corners and just uh, having some fun at the dirt bike track. But look who it is. Number one in your heart, but number three, 52 in your program. You don't even know my number. Uh, well, I know your name, that's pretty good, but. We got Bronson, he used to beg to be in the videos and now he walks away and I bring out the camera, but look for him for 2024 AMA National Outdoors on number. 352. <laughs> okay, 352 and uh killing it but yeah good to, we have good buddies out here bronson's just hanging out with john and he went flying past me made me look really slow out there but uh we're happy to be out at the track what's up bro i haven't seen you out in so i know it's long. been a bit for sure i was pulling in and i was telling my girlfriend i was like hey that's, fucking <laughs> that's, cool. that's awesome man i'm glad to have you out here Daniel's gonna try out the arena cross track. That is if we can find it. Um, oh, wait a minute. There it kinda is. <laughs>
appreciate you being faster than me. <laughs> we just had another pretty good moto. The track's starting to go away though. It's getting really dusty. It's getting even more hagged out. Even like when my buddy Troy and I were talking about coming out here, we we're like, by one o'clock, the track is pretty hammered. And that's just kind of what you get with tracks in Colorado in January. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, change out and get out of here. Cause we had a good day, some sketchy moments. Uh, didn't hit the deck though, but had a lot of fun out here. So we're just gonna leave on a high note and roll on out. Quick little ad, not ad. They give me this, but they don't pay me for it. But take a little shot of the HVMN ketone IQ before the drive home. Ah, oh, tastes horrible, works great. But uh, get us home and uh, just uh, start that recovery right away. And that is gonna do it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Dad, anything you wanna say for the day? Uh, not too much, it was a really nice day. It turned out real nice. The breeze was a little cool. Yeah. Looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. Good day out here. Uh, my riding was whatever, just kind of what it is these days, which is totally fine by me. The speed we're riding, I'm enjoying and just whatever. Just good stuff on dirt bikes. So we're going to get out of here, guys. Um, won't bore you with any more. Get home. And uh, tonight, A2, Triple Crown, first one of the year. And uh, should be some good racing and not muddy, which is great. So I hope you all enjoyed. Hit that like button. If you did, comment, subscribe. You know all that stuff. And uh, like I said last time, I just really hope that this was a good use of your time and that you enjoyed yourself watching this video. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much to Daddy Dio for getting third person footage for us. And uh, yeah, good day on the dirt bike. But until next time, guys, as always, take it easy. It's easy. Take it twice. Talk to you later.